In this video, we're going to be looking at the top five project management software that are used for digital marketing agencies. Uh, here we have Asana, then we have Jira, then we have Flow or GetFlow, then we have ClickUp, and finally we have Breeze.pm. So um, Asana, is, Asana and Jira are two of the biggest and most popular. So this is an example of how Asana works. You can see in the left navigation here, you organize by what Asana calls teams. And then uh, in here, you can add what, what's called projects. So if we go keyword research, you can see they're essentially checklists. Or you could go with uh, with the board view. So Asana has two views. One is the boards and one is the checklist here. So you can have different sections and then you can add your checklist here. And then you can go uh, full screen and then it'll show the full screen of it. You can put your description. You can assign it. You can have different custom fields, but to have these custom fields so you can set priority you need to have a paid account. And the beauty of Asana is that it does offer a free account for everybody, but you, you, they're gonna, it's gonna be limited with um, without these custom fields as well as other things. And then for each project that you assign or each task, you have the comment section that you can communicate with, uh, with your team with, which is great. Now, if we look at boards, boards are a little bit different. And if you um, if you click on a board, you can see it opens this up as opposed to a checklist where if you click it, it opens it here and then you have to go full screen. All right, so two ways to work. Some people prefer to work in this environment where they have these, um, these different uh, sections and then you can just drag when, once it's completed, you can drag it to be completed, right? Um, Asana also has timelines where you can see um, see your projects in a timeline. I don't have anything here, but they would show up here if I if I sign them. You have a calendar where it shows all your tasks, and of course you can um, upload files. So each in each uh, task you you can upload files. You can copy and paste images or just attach files. It's an excellent project management software. It does have its uh, limitations. Like for example, um, you can see here, this is the rich editor. It's very limited, it doesn't have headings. So you can create headings. Um, you can have very basic stuff. You can't really color either. You can't highlight. So the editor is basic. Hopefully in the future, it's gonna be more loaded. Um, but as of now, most of these software have very limited editors. So uh, the best way sometimes to work is to use uh, Google Docs to create your processes where you can have headings, you can uh, you can put images like here, you can't have an image here. It's gonna, if you upload an image, it's gonna upload it right here and or in here. So you can't have inline images, inline videos. Another disadvantage is that if you wanted to copy a video, sorry, a link, you can only put the full link. You can't actually write link and then link it. There's no option to link to a word, which is also very annoying, but it's just a, another limitation and all these software will have limitations. So uh, that's, that's essentially an overview of Asana. Now, if we look at Jira, you know, this is how Jira looks. You have all your uh, projects and you can create a project. I usually go to classic project and then they have different templates so you can see that kanban scrum external service desk bug tracking project management and you can see what is this task tracking process control content management so um and then when you select let's say i uh, you do not you're creating content for example or recruitment so if you select content enter your project name if you click advanced not many options here I already created this, so I'm just going to go back here, and if we go content management, you can see they have, it's very similar to Asana um, board view, 
same concept and of course in Asana you can change these sections to whatever you want them to be changed to Jira just comes with these preloaded ones so to do drafts in review approved and published right so this is a, your typical content uh, process and then in Jira so if you go to Asana and you click uh, this plus that adds a task and it's called tasks but in Jira they're called uh, issues which is not really as relevant as a task because sometimes it's not an issue right sometimes it's just a communication about something so but that's what they called it and if you click that then you can type in your task click save and then once you click in here here's that description similar to Asana uh, their editor is a little more detailed you know you can you have a lot more options here but if you put heading you see they have headings which is great and uh, we've been waiting for Asana because we use Asana predominantly uh, we've been waiting for their headings and for more rich editing experience here so and the reason for this is because um, it helps you build your your processes in here and you can have your different headings and images inline images and stuff like that even though here um, with the link you can you can link to this right it becomes a link uh, you can add images inline so Jira is just much better in terms of their editor uh, hands down uh, they're better at that and then the rest of the stuff here you know add comments that's all the same the typical stuff it comes with built-in priorities similar to Asana and you can change these you know, I got your due dates who, who is assigned to status you know you can move it to draft which is this section here Oops, I forgot to save that yeah click save file okay so that's um, that's Jira for you and then when a task is published you know you can just move it oh, I guess you gotta move it from that's kind of inconvenient it's gotta but I'm, I'm, I believe that you can change that so you can you can skip stages they have a lot of um, project settings that you can uh, that you can play with you know work with your issue types you can work with your workflows and um, yeah, so just a lot of options there. But uh, Jira is more for software development, software developers. Although it could be used for digital marketing agency um, style of project management. Now this is a uh, Flow or GetFlow. This is also another very popular software. So you can see. Um, all these software work very similar. We find that Flow is very similar to Asana. So um, you can create a team and then let's call this team. Of course, there's, uh, there's um, settings to be able to, um, sharing, sharing settings they all have. So there's my team. Invite people at a team. Move projects between teams. So you can see flow, you know, this is your checklist. If you click in here, very similar to Asana. Um, the inline editor is not that good. As you see, they also don't really um, have many editing options. There's no headings. 
Uh, you could go inline code, they have that. We have to use this for bold, you know, asterisks, which is just weird, you know, and inefficient. And I'm, I'm really um, appalled by the fact that these guys didn't update this. It's very basic, and these look like they're from the 90s. So uh, Jira is, is going to be number one for that. Um, ClickUp also has a good editor. So you can see here, we can use... Uh, uh, where is it? You can see there, they have headings, right? They have much more options, so the editor is better. But uh, to be honest, ClickUp's whole interface is it's a, it's a little bit confusing and hard to hard to learn so uh, there's going to be a bigger learning curve for ClickUp um, you know you still have this basic interface that you see in all the software for each of the tasks but they're um, they have spaces instead of teams so you create a space and then you assign a project I believe and then you assign tasks. So it's similar to a team project and task environment. And um, yeah, they have boards and and uh, checklists. So you can switch between the two with Asana. You know, once you create a board, you can't drag tasks between a board and a checklist, you know, which is unfortunate. You can't switch this to a board. Once you choose a checklist or a board, you're stuck with it. Okay. Um, go all spaces open that's how they organize it and you can go to board view the time tracking that, that it integrates with this company started in 2017 so it's fairly young uh, they are um, they're not in debt or anything so the company does have about 25,000 clients or team members I'm not sure if it's clients actually team members so it's a it's a it's a new company but it is um it could be set up well for a digital marketing agency now we have a breeze.pm uh, this is also a, a great project management platform um, it's very simple it also allows you to use uh, swim lanes so you can see these are the swim lanes here so what that means is that you can have like in Asana, Asana doesn't have swim lanes. So if you can't have another, you know, uh, another set of boards underneath this, you can only stack vertically here, you know, so it does not have swim lanes. Jira does have swim lanes and Breeze has swim lanes, which is great for link building and link management. You know, so you can see here, this is a link building plan, you know, guest posts. And then we have one client uh, for and, and the monthly plan for each each one, right? So, so it's great for link building management. That's what we use it for. And then uh, this we use Asana for general uh, task management. And it's it's essential to have a project management software for digital marketing agency. It just makes you organize your workflows. It makes you create templates that you can follow for each client. You know, so here's an example of a template for web pages. So we'll just duplicate this. And then in here we have our whole process for a web page, which is very deep. Okay, so I hope that uh, puts some of these things into perspective. If you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And we usually reply within 24 hours. And if you like this video and you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thank you.